हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट लर्निंग वेक्टर क्वांटाइजेशन और एल वी क्यू आई सजेस्ट यू इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच्ड माय वीडियो ऑन के एस ओ एफ एम दैट इज़ कोहिन एंड सेल्फ ऑर्गेनाइजिंग फीचर मैप यू गो टू दैट वीडियो वंस एंड देन यू कम ऑन टू दिस बिकॉज दीज वीडियोज दे आर ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर so let us understand the training algorithm first step 0 is to initialize the reference vectors from given set of training vectors take first m that is the number of clusters training vectors and use them as the weight vectors remaining vectors can be used for training step 1 is to calculate the euclidean distance for i equal to 1 to n j equal to 1 to m where j equal to 1 to n represents the number of clusters i equal to 1 to n Um, uh, represents the number of input vectors that is you have to calculate the square of the euclidean distance between every input vector between every input vector and the cluster unit for example if we have four input vectors and two clusters then we have to calculate the distance of x1 with y1 and y2 and whichever distance is lower that particular cluster will be called as the winning cluster now for find the winning in the find winning unit index j when d of j is minimum now update weight on winning unit using the following conditions if t is equal to j that is if target value is equal to the winning cluster unit then you need to apply weight updation like wi new equal to wi old plus alpha times x minus wi old and if it is not equal to if the target value is not equal to the winning cluster unit then you have to uh apply weight updation like wi new equal to wi old minus alpha times xi min x minus wi old that is here it is plus and here it is minus so this is the architecture for lvq these are the input vectors and these are the clusters with which they are connected now let us see the question construct an lvq net with five vectors assigned to two classes given vectors along with the classes are as shown so we have been given five vectors and corresponding to them we have been given classes as 1 2 2 1 1 since uh, the number of classes given in the question is 2 therefore first two vectors that is these two vectors will be used as the initial weight vectors and remaining three vectors as the input vectors so the architecture will look something like this since we have two classes y1 and y2 and x1 x2 x3 x4 will be the input vectors which are connected with the cluster 1 with the weights 0 0 1 1 and with y2 they are connected with 1 0 0 0 so find uh, initial weight matrix will get like 0 0 1 1 1000 where 0011 represents the distance between the x1 x2 x3 x4 and y1 and 1000 represents the uh, distance between x1 x2 x3 x4 and y2 so let us see for the first input vector that is x equal to 0001 with target value 2 now uh, see uh, since here uh, we'll say uh, we have three input vectors this these three input vectors we have so for the first input vector we'll get 0001 target value is to calculate the euclidean distance so how do we calculate the euclidean distance 0 minus 0 whole square plus 0 minus 0 whole square plus 1 minus 0 whole square plus 1 minus 1 whole square this is the euclidean distance between the cluster 1 and x1 so we'll get d1 as uh, 1 similarly d2 will get something like 1 Minus zero whole square plus zero minus zero whole square plus zero minus zero whole square plus zero minus one whole square. So we'll get d two as two. Since d of one is smaller, therefore winning index is one. Now see, uh, but here the target class is two. Target class is two and winning winning index is one. So therefore these two values are not equal. So we'll have a minus sign here. W J new equal to W J old minus alpha times x minus W J old. So we'll apply weight updation with the first cluster. So W11 new equal to W11 old minus alpha x1 minus W11 old zero minus zero point one zero minus zero equal to zero. Similarly, see W21 new equal to zero, W31 new equal to one point one, W41 new equal to one. Therefore, we get the updated weight matrix like zero zero one point one one and one zero 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 will remain the same as we have not applied weight updation with the cluster two. Let us see for the second input vector. In the second input vector, D1 comes out to be four point two one, D2 comes out to be one. so winning index is d1 here also it is not equal to the target value that is the winning index is not equal to the target value here also we will have minus sign and updated weight matrix will look something like 001.111 minus 0.100 0. and let us see for the third input vector here uh, d1 comes out to be 2.01 and d2 comes out to be 3.21 That is d1 is calculated as 0.0, 0 minus 0, 0 minus 1, 1.1 1 minus 1, 1 minus 0, and d2 is calculated as 1 minus 0 minus 0.1 minus 1, min 
plus 0 minus 1 plus 0 minus 0 so you'll get uh, values like this and here the winning cluster is 1 here the target value comes out to be equal to the winning index so we'll uh, apply weight updation with a plus sign here wj new equal to wj old plus alpha times x minus wj old and here are the final values which we'll get 0, 0 0.1, 1.09, 1.0.9 .1 so this is the final weight matrix that we'll get for this question so friends if you like the video please like subscribe and share thank you